What's up, it's you. For today's video, we have a Urshifu sweep rapid strike style. Now, earlier on tonight, I did the single strike style Urshifu sweep. Check it out if you haven't already. We've done both for the day, which is going to be super, super good. Now, let's have a look at uh, Urshifu's uh, special move here, being Surging Strikes. Now, what Surging Strikes does is a physical move. It's a water type move. It's 25 base power, and it hits three times in a row. And every individual hit right, critical hit. So it's a pretty decent move, right? And uh, it's got some nice uh, base power when you add it all up as well. Um, if you guys want to check out any uh, teams to do with Urshifu and, uh, of course, Kupfu, you can check out the Kupfu Evolution team and the Cup for your Pokemon sweep. Both of them was put up like uh, yesterday or the day before, just for the people that didn't check them out. If you want to check me out on Twitch as well, people, link is in the description of the video. That's where I do all my live streaming now. So come check me out there. This battle was absolute fire. Like the start of this battle, you will not even believe what happened. So the start of this battle went for a little while, right? Because something accidental happened. So in the video I did probably about a week ago, I used the Dynamax and Lola Executor, right? And uh, this is exactly the same one. So all I did with this one is level up to level 100. I gave it no EVs, no moves, no nothing. It wasn't even meant to be in this team, but accidentally picked it as the first Pokemon. So I was sort of like, you know what? It's on the field, whatever. Let's just go for it. It's probably going to be a dead game, right? So Gyarados to go for the uh, Dragonet, setting up on my non-EV trained uh, Alola <laughs> Dynamax, uh, well, non-Dynamaxing uh, Executor. I'm going to have Hypnosis. I thought Hypnosis might be a handy move if it lands. It's going to be like really, really risky, but it doesn't matter, right? Because this game's you know, going to be a dead game, right? There's no way I'm going to be able to win this one. So now we got the Gyarados going for the Iron Head. Iron Head actually does under half health, which is pretty funny considering. And uh, Hypnosis is going to miss again. So it's like, I'm starting to get fed up here. I'm thinking... Should I go for a third Hypnosis or just go for Reflecting, you know, swap in Urshifu and just take my chances from there? Or should I just go for the Hypnosis and, you know, this battle's probably going to be like, go one way anyway. Might as well go for another Hypnosis, right? So Executor's going to leave and it's third Hypnosis, it lands on the Gyarados. So now Gyarados is going to be put to sleep. It's like, sweet, this is actually really cool. Now the other moves on here, it had Elite Seed, Reflector and, and Absorb, guys. Absorb. So I had to absorb my powers and uh, keep going along in this battle. So I decided to set up the Reflect, right? Because Gyarados had a couple of Dragon Ants up already. And uh, this, I, I want to state too, this wasn't even part of my strategy. This was a complete accident. It wasn't even meant to be picked as my team. Okay, so anyway, we got Reflect up. So, okay, it didn't wake up. Might as well just use another move here. Leech Seed could be handy. Maybe I could swap Urshifu in like soon enough. I was actually thinking, I'm going to let Gyarados take me out, right? And then swap in Urshifu, right? Because that could be like really, really handy. So just setting the uh, Leech Seed up on the Gyarados. And we're going to get some nice little health back there. And I guess it's going to do a little bit of damage to Gyarados, which... Uh, you know, could be handy or not. Basically, I, what I wanted to do right in uh, using the uh, Gigantamax Urshifu, I wanted to use its G-Max move, and I wanted to use my strategy to its fullest extent, as you guys will see. And once again, I will explain uh, the team at the end of the video as always. So make sure you stick around for that. So Gyarados is still asleep. All I can do is go for an Absorb, and Absorb drops hard, people. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. So at this moment in time, right, I've nearly got half my health back just from Leech Seed and Absorb and this sleeping Gyarados. They've, they've got to be a little bit salty right now, like, especially if they knew that this was just like an un-EV trained uh, uh, Alola Executor. So uh, Gyarados finally wakes up and is going to go for a Dragon Dance again. It's like, okay, it's going to try and get six, probably six Dragon Dance stuff. And, you know, just use Max Airstream and take the rest of my team out. So go for another Absorb here because that, well, I was thinking the Gyarados is still asleep. I might as well go for that, right? So Gyarados has nearly lost half its health. I nearly gained, like, half my health back, too. Uh, just purely from Leech Seed and Absorb, which is actually pretty funny. So, like, okay, well, you know, this is the end of the road here. It's just going to take me out with, uh, you know, with a, a Dynamax. And this is going to be GG, right? So I just went, it was like, it doesn't really matter. I'll just go for Hypnosis again. Then they withdrew their Gyarados. Like, okay, they're probably fed up with my Gyarados. Um, their Gyarados getting... Uh, uh, stalled out by a lot of executor, right? And Surfetch is going to come in here. So, like, okay, well, the flex gone. This is really, really bad, right? Um, this thing could set up me with the airstream as well. It's got a lot of attack. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not an easy Pokemon to swap into. And they are going to go for a Dynamax Surfetch. So, I get a Surfetch. Dynam or just a Dynamax Pokemon in general before I even send my Urshifu out, which is going to be, like, kind of handy. So, I'm thinking, okay, okay. Maybe if I send, like you know, another Pokemon out and wait for the Dynamax to go down, then send my Urshifu, and this could actually be really, really handy. And uh, ex a lot of the Executor is still tall on the Surf Edge. Look at that. Didn't even need the Dynamax. Okay, so Surf Edge is going to come in there. It's going to be able to use a Gust at this point and take out my Alolan Executor. It's going to be go down. But man, how good did that Alolan Executor do against the Gyarados? Like, fully just like 
com completely what the this is the one you got from the digger, right? Okay, so next bug one is the uh dug tree here. All I want to do with my dug tree is just go for the memento here, and that's pretty much all I was thinking about doing. I was thinking about going for a sand attack a little bit after the dynamax, it could help. And then I was like, nah, I could go for protect too. And I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna stall out this uh with memento and drop its stats a little bit. This could actually give me a really good opportunity to send in my earth tree, right? I was thinking this is gonna be a top notch fight. All right, people, enjoy this video, it's super funny. Alright, hope you enjoyed the Critting Urshifu set, and man, did those Surging Strikes get through that disguise, and it also got past the Focus Ash as well, which is super, super funny, because normally those sort of things like shut down a sweep very, very easily. So let me explain what my set is. We got a Max Attack and Max Speed set, uh, usually what you'd run on Urshifu, right? And with Surging Strikes, I want to run a signature move. So that hits three times, and every single one of those is a crit, and it's 25 base power. Now, the reason I ran Focus Energy on here, right, was for Super superpower and facade so I could go focus energy and keep using superpower over and over again with the scope lens which gives me a hundred percent crit ratio right this means that I can keep using superpower and not get an attack drop at all like I can just bypass that with critic wits over and over and over again so I had surging strikes is hundred percent crit superpower is hundred percent crit and say if I come across any Pokemon with like will o or toxic I could go for a side with a facade with a crit and uh, boy that one drops really really hard now it is walled obviously it's not perfect coverage but it is a little bit of a fun set that i made up and it's got some very very good potential as well so you can easily take out focus engine give another attacking with i just thought this would be a fun little uh, set to try because i noticed that surging uh, strikes has that uh, chance of critting so i thought that'd be cool if i add on like superpower and get around the uh, drops of the attack and then facade as well so there's uh, a couple of options you can play around with that but yeah that's pretty much it for the urshifu video today once again make sure you check out the um not the not the rapids right the single strike urge food video that one was a little bit more of a competitive set so today's one is a little bit more of a uh you know gimmicky slash uh it's it is a sort of a gimmicky set but uh it actually worked out fairly well now it's g max move i got to use in this battle too i made sure i used it in uh both the pokemon sweeps uh that looks really really cool i think i still like the uh the single strike one just a little bit better anyway people i hope you enjoyed both of these urge sweeps today i'll catch you tomorrow with some more videos peace